Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with a brand new Walesco D455. I took it out of the box and proceeded to start doing a lot of modifications to it. And as you can see, there's a cord coming out of the back of it. It has an immersion rod type heater in the base and the bottom of it, just like this one here with a brass sleeve. I removed the center flue and uh, put a brass lug in the bottom and the top. And we'll start at the top. The chimney has a support, and that is a 5 16 24 TPI. And that's a little plug that screws right out of there so that uh, you don't have to use the little red funnels, and these bigger ones will work now so you can fill this boiler up. Since it has all of its volume now, which I think is, what, 500 centimeters? So uh, this engine on low voltage is capable for really long extended runs. Over an hour is not a problem at all, probably pushing two hours on low voltage. You can see we've got a pressure gauge on top there. It's a 0 30 PSI. And we've got plenty of pressure right now. And this is a uh, about a 300, well, it says 300 on tag, but it's about 334 or so on the uh, pressure or on the wattage that it's capable of on a, out of that little uh, cartridge heater. And then uh, we've got a voltage reducer in the base. And it's 2,000 watt capable, for, so 335 is not a problem for it. And uh, we have a solid brass drain valve on the bottom. Getting ready to... Let me turn the voltage down a little bit. Solid brass drain valve on the bottom, so you can drain this big old boiler now. And uh, it's set in such a way on that plug on the bottom that just about every drop ought to come out. I, I've made it the lowest part. Made a little bevel inside the plug and uh, say it'll drain nearly everything out of it. And uh, I was going to shoot a video of it earlier. And uh, I wasn't proud of the performance of the engine. There was so much slop in the axle that the flywheel wobbled terribly. And uh, that, well, that it's not going to do. It had these plastic bushings in there, I found out. So I uh, disassembled the whole engine and drilled it out a little bit and made uh, two phosphor bronze oil type bushings for it. And uh, then I uh, reamed them in, trammed them in, and it it's perfectly snug now. Just enough tolerance to run. So the bushings are about a quarter inch deep. They go into that frame quite a bit. And uh, that'll last a lifetime of this engine, longer than I'm going to live. But uh, she's a really good runner. Let's take a picture of this right here. There's the tags, the brass tags I have made for it. 110 volt, 300 watt. This is a 18-3 uh, grounded cord. So this is a grounded unit. Look at pressure still climbing. Well, since we've got a lot of pressure, let's run it. Let's run her good. Oh, sorry. It's pushing 722 watts now. Let's turn this up all the way. Thirty some. So it was only running on about a third of its power. Let's open her up. As you can see, she's got plenty. Turn the voltage down a little bit. And we're still pushing 25 PSI. Very powerful engine. It's very self-sustaining and self-contained. And, uh, you can get a lot of run out of this. All right. I 
As always, I appreciate it, folks. Thanks for looking. Have a nice day. The power is all the way off now. It'll take a while. This is a very tight unit. Have a nice day now. Bye.